Hello my darling viewers, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, according to wherever you come across this video. Thank you all for your support, thank you all for everything. Please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please kindly subscribe to this channel, like my video, share my video, please, anytime I upload a new video, you will be the first person to be notified. Alright my beautiful viewers, I don't carry another gist can't give now today, another late another news now carry can't give now today. So but this one I carry come today now very sad and touching one my people. Ah my people I don't understand this life or the way this life they go again as it be my people. When I see this guest wanna they see for my video, so this guest so her name na her name neither they call Gloria na Gloria neither they call this girl wanna they see so my people ah my people if now see this girl say this girl not get to hand she they manage they do everything when she did do my people mona ask me what thing happened to this girl my people this girl this girl talk and read they say now nah, how much are we born away carry her for belly for nine months now he used got last they caught her two hands to win my people. Chai, my people. I don't know the reason why some women will get my carry picky for belly for nine months. Go take care of that child, grow up. After now, after that, all those suffer, they will see get mad. They do evil to their children. It's very, very wrong. Very, very wrong. The sight of God and, and the sight of man, my people. I don't understand which kind of punishment can be this one. When we say this woman just bring this girl into this world, can put her for punishment. It can as it be, my people. Ah, if you now listen to this girl, if you now listen to the way this girl is narrating this story, and, ah, it's very touching and it's very painful, my people. Now, God, now even say this girl would they are like because the way her mother they plan this girl <laughs> she not plan i say this girl may she even they are like her plan was to buy this girl my people but god see and say this girl now person will be say you know what that her time never reached to say she want that my people so now god now i save this girl she can't do her life, my people. Anyway, my people, who now they see what did happen for this life, say, trust no one, oh, trust nobody. This story, now go listen to this story, more and listen to what did this girl, the way she did, the, the way she can't take the live now, she, the way she did try to survive, my people. This girl, now they see, so she really need help. Where, where? Anyway, my people, I say, my carry this just can't give her. More now watch her by herself. Bye bye. See you guys next time on my next video. This girl's hand was cut off by her own biological mother because of witchcraft. And today, this beautiful girl is struggling to live a comfortable life. Hi, my name is Lori Smart. In many way, I'm like this. It's because my mother cut off my two hands. Glory, I can't believe that your mother would do something like this to you. What really happened? What did you do? I did nothing to her. Then why would she do something like this to you? A type of witchcraft. You say what? Witchcraft. Witchcraft from where? You or her? From my mother wow so what did she say after this evening so she started confessing that uh, they have asked her to bring me to the coven for a long time that after killing me there physically spiritually i'm still alive um, okay after they've killed you there spiritually that you are still alive yes physically i'm still alive so they have to kill me physically Okay, sorry, can the father come? I think she's having difficulty explaining. Okay, sir, you are the father of this child? Yes, I'm the biological father. Okay, I'm sorry, can you explain what really happened to her? Why would your wife cut off her own hands? It's a tale of tragedy because uh, I never knew that she's a witch. And uh, after doing this, she now come to confess that... Uh, they have been worrying her in the Kovu because of glory. So she cannot uh, otherwise do anything in order to produce glory. Instead, she used cutlass to condemn her hand if she will die in order for her to be free in the Kovu. Wow, that is really, really sad. So um, what about your wife? Where is she right now? After the incident, when Glory returned from the hospital, she came to visit Glory and found that Glory is in this situation. Then she left home and took poison and killed herself. And this is really sad. 
So I would like to, I would like, Glory, can you narrate what really happened on the day that your mother used the cutlass on you? Is that okay? Can you talk about it? Okay. On that very day, I woke up at 2 o'clock in the midnight. So I asked her to give me phone touch. My father said I should go along with her. That going along with her would be better. So I went along with her to the back of our house because the building is in passage house. There is no toilet and bathroom inside. So we went to the back of the house. And my wife called me urinating. So the next thing I asked from my mother is the sound of a uh, matches trying to cut away my neck. Trying to cut your neck? Yes, trying to cut off my head. So when I was preventing my head, that's how I lost my tones. Wow, and the mark on your face. It means that she was aiming for your neck. Yeah. Yes. So your mother used cutlass to hit you three times on your face. Yes. And then she cut off your two hands. Yes. Wow. So did no, nobody intervene? Nobody tried to help you or what? No, because it's already late. Your me or father did not hear you screaming? No, my father did not hear me early because we are already at the back of the building. Okay, we are at the back of the building. So why didn't you hear her screaming? I mean, it's 2 a.m. at night. Everyone will be very, very quiet. Why didn't you hear her Really, I, I was at the inner room when I heard a small noise. That was when he, he, she cut her mouth. So she was unable to shout. Then before I could run outside, when I heard, I heard a small voice, before I could be able to run about an inch, I could find, only find the half hand on the ground. So I ran straight to her. When I got there, I saw that uh, Glory was lying on the ground. Then herself was even, she raised the collars in order to just to cut off the neck. When I got there, then I, I handled the collars and we dragged the collars before I took the collars from her and shouted before people ran outside there and rescued us. Wow, this is really sad. Um, I'm really concerned because this is a mother to daughter's relationship. Mothers are meant to protect their own children. Why would she do something like this? Was she having any form of men mental illness? Uh, she performed as a mentor, but that is not the, the problem. She used mentor, mentor to, cover, to cover herself. She's a witch. She was one that confessed that she's a witch. Of course. In her own mouth. Of course. And that uh, for a long time, they have been troubling her in the Kobo to fetch glory. And uh, she tried all her best, but she couldn't, since she decided to do it physically. Well, I think this is the case of a lot of... I've, I've heard of the case of witchcraft across Nigeria. And whenever a witch is being caught in the act, they start behaving like they have mental issues. And they begin to gain sympathy of the public that oh these are the, this person is mentally unstable you understand me i think that's what happened so now let's go back to that night when this whole incident happened what was the next thing you did when you found glory lying unconscious well i could not do anything rather than carrying her to the nearby hospital when we get to the hospital they find that they cannot be able to give any treatment to her so they have to return me back so when i left there to another hospital not until about five hospitals I visited, nowhere they was able to admit us. You mean you took her to five hospitals that day? Uh huh. No, the, the day the, the incident happened, I took her to Cottage Hospital in Auburn. So they couldn't, uh, the, the doctor was unable to take any treatment. So I have to carry her back to our house again. When they break, I have to take her to this Uranibe General Hospital. They couldn't. Uh, admit us. Then I took her to Obiaroko, General Hospital. Same thing. Then we left for a coup. That the, same day? That same day. The same thing happened. They know where they was unable to reach where, they, where she is. So I have to take her to the village. Getting to the village, our uh, family gathered together and see her. They said that uh, she's not going to survive. That she must die. So they have to put her inside one of the condemned rooms. So that she will, yeah, so that she will die there. So after about three days, she keep calling me, Daddy, even if my mother happened to do me like this, you cannot be able to abandon me like this. Take me away from here, I will survive. I will she was still in the same clothes? Yes. 
was she eating? No. No food, no water. No, only water used to pass through the air. Through the ear. She took water through the ear. Because there is no mouth any longer. The whole teeth was condemned. So that is how it happens. Before we left for, uh, before I was advised to manage and take her to the uh, UB, uh, Data State uh, uh, Teaching Hospital, then I took her to the teaching hospital. There she was admitted, and uh, that is the place they give her the treatment. This was after three days after the whole thing happened? After three days. No even special treatment given to her, but she still alive. Before I took her to the hospital at Togara, before they gave her the first treatment and admitted her there, whereby she spent three months before they discharged us. Wow, so in all of those situations, then what happened to what was your wife doing? Uh, she was not arrested. She was immediately it happens. Then I, I went to the police station to report to the matter. They came and carried her to the station and uh, put her inside the cell. All along, when we were at the hospital, uh, she kept on worrying the policemen in the uh, station there. The policeman came to me at the hospital and uh, asked me where the family of my wife is. Then I described it to them before they carry herself to the father. So that's how it happens. So the police released her? The police released her on bail because of the warning she was giving to them in the station. So when they, they were, as at then, we were at the hospital, when we were being discharged, uh, she came to visit us after two, three days when we uh, landed the home. So when we, she came, she was asking the daughter, Glory, that what happens to you? Glory asked her that, Mama, you did this to me. She never believed. She was surprised. He said that a human being cannot do a daughter something of this nature. I said that you are the one that did it. That's how she left. Before about uh, not, less, not more than three hours again, we could only hear that she's dead. And she poisoned herself. That's how she died. Wow, this is really pathetic. Brothers and sisters, strange things are happening in the society and, you know, it's really sad. Looking at this girl now, I, only God knows how she's going to live this life and enjoy what has been placed on earth for young people like her to enjoy. It's unfortunate that she has to go through all of this, that she had to go through all of this. Life is somehow, I mean, people are scared of Boko Haram, banditry, kidnap. And a lot of other things and when you think that you are in your own home and you are safe ah <sighs> this is really really pathetic and um glory i'm so sorry that you had to go through all of this are you done with your school like did she continue with her education she couldn't continue any longer because there is no hand to write how, how old was she when this whole thing happened uh, at least she was uh, 13 years old when three days to, do, to sit for her primary six living certificate examination when the incident happened to her. So she could not uh, go any to school any longer since she has no hand to write. So ever since, what has she been doing? Uh, <coughs> she she found herself that she cannot stay at home alone, busy doing nothing. And uh, she decided to go into computer in, uh, engineering. So she learned computer. Wow, that's interesting. So, Glory, you know how to, you know computer very well. Went for computer training. Yes. Is this something you really want to do? No, not exactly. I just find myself at home, busy doing nothing. So, I look around and think about it. What can I do to be still moving around as my mate? So... I decided to go for the computer. Okay, so um, is there any skill that you want to learn? Because I don't know how possible it would be to go to school and get certified. Because I think that there are people without hands that still that still find a way to attend school. But is there any skill you would like to learn? 
Yes, as you say, after the incident, so I wanted to fold my education, but because of financial aspect, my father could not afford anything uh, because he had spent a lot on me during the I was living at the hospital. So I just decided to stay at home. But as from now, I don't know what to do. I can't say I will go and learn or or tailor or hairdresser, all those work that the case is to do. So what I can do now is my condition. If what I just need is boutique shop. You want to own a boutique? Yes. Where you can sell clothes, shoes, jewelry, bags. Yes. Okay. So, like, how much will it cost you to set up one? I can't really put it. You have not really done the visibility study. But that's a business that you think you'll be able to manage. Yes. Have you thought of also learning a skill as well? Why you own a business? Very good, you know. But having a skill to something to get busy with. Yes, I could have liked that. Okay. Since you learned computer, do you know how to operate computer very well? Like, what can you do with computer? How do you do the typing and printing and photocopy? Okay. So even if she has to learn graphic design, it's not easy for her to operate the mouse. You know, even video editing and some of those things. So the, the things that she can learn, they are very, very few. Very, very few. So... And you see, one thing against discrimination, if she own, if she sets up her own business now, what's the chance that she will not be discriminated? Do you understand? If somebody sees that, oh, the person wants the shop does not have hands, they might just want to check the next door. So I really don't know how this girl is going to cope with her life. Sincerely, like, Gloria, I'm so sorry that this happened to you. I'm really, really, really sorry about this. How can we help this girl? Pastor, you are the one that told me about this girl's situation. You've heard everything that the father said. Do you think there's anything missing out from the story? Well, they've said the reality as it happens. So everything they've said is actually what we heard that has happened according to the father and the daughter and the people in the compound on the day of the incident. Okay, now I'd like to ask you, what's your comment about witchcraft? Well, I actually know witchcraft is real. Although some people try it or tend to deny witchcraft, but I know as a preacher of the gospel that witchcraft is very real. We have seen several incidents of this all around the world, so I know witchcraft is real. Um, Glory, do you have, Glory, do you have any advice for anybody out there in similar situation as you? Yes. What's your advice? My advice to them is that no condition is permanent in this life. That in any situation you find yourself. Just thank, thank God, give glory to God because no condition is permanent. And even with, with my condition, I'm still helping others with the one I can do. You're still helping people. Yes. Like today, on my way coming back to this place, I met a blind man, and he asked me to help him to cross road. So I still thank God that at least. In that point, I'm still better than him. Sorry, I didn't hear you. You met who? A blind man. A blind man. And then he was 